All right, so what's up, broskies? We're back, and hey, we're back on a game. Like I said yesterday, we're playing uh, something about a Dagon or some shit like that. If you know Cthulhu and shit like that, you know um, the creator of the C Cthulhu is uh, J.P. Lovecraft, and he didn't just create the Cthulhu. He created a bunch of other monsters, and I'm guessing this is one of his monsters, a Dagon. Uh, I haven't really seen any videos on it, and yeah, uh, Revia? Yeah. All right. Off the bat, this shit is clean. All right, let's go. Let's go. Dagon is a faithful interactive adaption of HP, not JP. All right, if you're new, like, subscribe, and comment. We're almost at 300, so let's try to reach 300 before the end of the year. All right, and go check out the other videos. If you like this one, you'll like the other ones. And watch the whole thing. Come on now. It really helps. Uh, focus on story and atmosphere. You will not find difficult choices, action sequence, or inventory and management here. And movement is limited to progressing throughout locations without, along with the plot. I love that. If you I'm check writing this under an appreciable mental strain, since by tonight I shall be no more. You shall be no more. During the game, you encounter interactive elements. Some of them will allow you to continue your journey. Others will reveal interesting facts about the original sto short story. It's historical background. The author. Some of the trivia is hidden in order to find these secrets. Focus your eyes and look for the elder signs. All right. You can also access all the found. Facts later, they will be available in the main menu. All right, yeah, no problem. What do you say? Penniless, and at the end of my supply of the drug, which alone makes life endurable, I can bear the torture no longer, and shall cast myself from this garret window into the squalid street below. Why the fuck they talk like that? Talking like that is so fucking dope. The squalid. Like that. Do not think from my slavery to morphine that I am a weakling or a degenerate. Yo, the way that they talk is so cool. I'm a weakling or a degenerate. When like, you have read you these hastily that? scrawled pages, you may guess, though never fully realize why it is that I must have forgetfulness or death. I feel you, HP. Is this supposed to be? Okay. What's that? What'd I do? It was in one of the most open and least frequented parts of the broad Pacific that the packet of which I was supercargo fell a victim to the German Sea Raider. That's crazy. I still don't know what's going on. Is there anything I can touch, feel? I can't even walk around. Damn. The Great War oh. was then at its very beginning, and the ocean forces of the Hun had not completely sunk to their later degradation. Hey, yo, beautiful. Beautiful. Whoever made this shit. Is so that our vessel was made a legitimate prize, Look at that ocean. whilst we of her crew were Look treated with all the fairness and consideration due us as naval prisoners. Oh, who is speaking like this? Who is that? The Huns were Central Asian nomads who established a dominion in Europe and Oh yeah, you can fuck that. I'm, this ain't a history lesson, this is a fucking, I, I, I'm trying to get scared as fuck lesson. Or well, look at some cool ass monsters, so man. So liberal, indeed, was the discipline of our captors that five days after we were taken, I, I managed, managed to, to escape, escape alone, alone in a small boat with water and provisions for a good length of time. Hey, you hear that? Yo, he, the way he talks is so fucking dope. I'm sorry, but the way he talks is so fucking cool. I love it. I love the way he's talking. But the provisions of the death and lasting and oh, I'm English. When I finally found you know myself mean? adrift and free, I had but little idea of my surroundings. Ah uh, shit! Now I hate this. Wait, hold on. Before before we go, I hate this ocean. Like this thing is stuck in the ocean. It scares the fuck out of me. Just even like sitting here right now is scaring the fuck out of me. Never a competent navigator, I could only guess vaguely by the sun and stars that I was somewhat south of the equator. Bro, this is scary. Like I'm genuinely scared. Nah, bro, nah. I Shinobi up. Shinobi up. Of the longitude, I knew nothing, and no island or coastline was in sight. Nah, 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 I can't do this because I can't, I can't. Because, like, you got to look around you. Imagine some other, ah, like, like, you know what I mean? Ah, like, yeah, he come out of nowhere. Okay, hold on. Hold on, okay, anything for me to do? I want to skip this part. I want to skip this part. You hear that? What was that? Oh, yeah, just skip, just skip that. Oh, just go to the moon, go to the moon. The weather hey, hell no, bro, hell! The days, I drifted aimlessly beneath the scorching sun. Yo, he lived, though, he lived, so I'm good. Ship or to be cast on the shores of some habitable, habitable land. land. Yo, imagine being stuck in the middle of the ocean, man. That is 
Fuck, at least you got some type of food, right? You hear that? I hear Unless that's but neither ship nor land appeared. And you I hear that? To despair in my solitude upon the heaving vastness of unbroken blue. And then and then we hit and then we hit land. And then we hit land, right? Stop, stop, stop. I don't like this because I don't like being in a the second. Change happened whilst I slept. Its details I shall never know. For my slumber, though troubled and dream infested, was continuous. Yo, I'm ter I'm actually scared of that. Hold on. Where the fuck are we? Where the f is this our dream? This better be our dream. All right, let's let's try to. All right, so that's our boat, and it is a squid. That's all I know. When at last I awoke, Wait. it was to discover myself half sucked into a slimy expanse of hellish black mire, which extended about me in monotonous undulations as far as I How do you get out of this, see. though? How do you get out of this? It's like quicksand, right? That's what and you're trying to say. my boat lay grounded some distance away. Oh, hell no. Though I'm, I'm might shaking. Well imagine that my first sensation would be of wonder. At so prodigious and unexpected a transformation of scenery, I was in reality more horrified than astonished. Yeah, I would be too. What the fuck is that in For front of me? For there was in the air and in the rotting soil a sinister quality which chilled me to the very core. Yeah, Dagon, right? Oh, yo, look at the stars. The region was putrid with the carcasses of decaying fish. All right, that ain't fish. That's more squid. things which I saw protruding from the nasty mud of the unending plain. Yeah, but that ain't fish. That's like squid, right? Because squid and fish aren't the same thing, Perhaps right? Perhaps I should not hope to convey in the words they're just sea animals. the unutterable hideousness that can dwell in absolute silence and barren immensity. Because you ain't going to call a seahorse a fish, right? Or an octopus a fish. There was nothing right? within hearing and nothing in sight save a vast reach of black slime. Oh, Yet the very hell no! the and the homogeneity of the landscape oppressed me with a nauseating fear. I don't know if you can hear his voice very well. Put up the volume on the TV or something like that for when he talks. But it's like, whoever voiced this guy needs need a beautiful voice actor. Beautiful voice actor. Genuinely. First off, are we standing now? The sun was blazing down from a sky which seemed to me almost black in its cloudless cruelty. As though reflecting Gosh. the inky marsh beneath my feet. That's a big ass fit, uh, uh, octopus though. Look at that. How's it still alive? Okay, so we got, okay, now we can actually touch shit. Pause. Uh, all right, this is the only thing we can touch. Oh, we move it? Oh, 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 damn, it sounded like someone. As I crawled into the stranded boat, I realized that only one theory could explain my position. Born. Through some unprecedented <laughs> volcanic upheaval, a portion of the ocean floor must have been thrown to the surface. Exposing regions for which innumerable millions of years had lain hidden under unfathomable watery depths. So tell me if I got this right, because you guys might be listening better than I am or know more about this. Is he trying to say like like the the, the bottom of the ocean just rose up to the top or something like that? Or does he mean like hell I don't know. This dude is So great was the extent of the new land which had risen beneath me. But I could not detect the faintest noise of the surging ocean, straining my ears as I might. I got you. Nor were there any sea fowl to prey upon the dead things. Hey, yo, they're not dead. They're clearly moving. Just eat them. Oh, wait. We could. We could. Okay, now we could touch shit. Pause again. Um, is there anything we could touch? For several hours, I sat thinking or brooding in the boat which lay upon its side and afforded a slight shade as the sun moved across the heavens. Yo, don't you want to know what the fuck that is? That pulsating thing? As the day progressed, the ground lost some of its stickiness and seemed likely to dry sufficiently for traveling purposes in a short time. Okay. Right. That night I slept but little, and the next day I made for myself a pack containing that? food and water preparatory to an overland journey in search of the vanished sea and possible rescue. Uh, my boy, he say hi! Search and rescue, what is that? First of all, nothing should be glowing in the ocean. Nothing should be glowing in the ocean. On the third morning, 
I found the soil dry enough to walk upon with ease. Where the fuck are we? The odor of the fish was maddening, but I was too much concerned with graver things to mind so slight an evil and set out boldly for an unknown goal. Yeah, but don't you want to know where the fuck you are? Like, I straight up would be like, okay, so is this off the coast of, like, South Carolina? Not, not South Carolina. I'm a fucking idiot. All day, I forged steadily west. Hey, yo, what the fuck is that? Far away hummock which rose higher than any other elevation on the rolling desert. Nah, nah. What's your, like, okay, I get the fish part, the, 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 with the fish, the, the little fish that we were looking at, and the octopus. But I see this shit, I'm turning the other fucking direction. This is like some nautica shit. This, that's a fucking dinosaur. Look, that's one arm. That's another arm. That's right, it's fucking ankle. Bro, what the fuck is that? I'm, I'm not walking more. I'm not walking this way. If I see some shit like that, I better go. Look at this. It's a goddamn hippo. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, 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 whale, bro. That's a fucking whale. And what is this supposed to be? Giant ass crabs? Like, well, how do you explain that? Like, how do you explain that in your fucking mind being like, yeah, this is. That night, what I camped. The... And on the following day, still traveled toward the hummock. Bro, that's. Though that object seemed scarcely near. That's Cthulhu! When I had first that's a fucking it. cat cracking! It's a fucking cracking! Look at how big. Th there ain't no way you catch me going this fuck. Oh, wait, what is this? Okay, here we go. The horse of the ocean. I'll read this shit because this shit seems cool. The creator of the Cthulhu mythos and the fictional underwater sea of Rylan was convinced that life could not exist at the bottom of the ocean because the water pressure would make it un uninhabitable. That's true. That, that is true. Today we know that the darkest depth of, oh, never mind, of the ocean are home to many per peculiar organisms. The deepest dwelling fish we have discovered far, the Marana Mariana snailfish, can live about 8,000 meters, more than 26,000 feet below the ocean surface in the never-ending darkness at hellish crushing pressures hundreds of times stronger than those found at sea at sea level upon glancing at the modern photos of deep sea creatures such as the angle fit angler fish the fang tooth or the viper fish and their truly love crafty and characters it's hard not to find some I, I, oh, yeah i thought it was about it all right hey yo, that's cool though that's cool i didn't know like like i know that there was actually shit down there like i knew that there was shit but i was like because we'd be like, oh. The fourth evening, uh, I attained the base of the mound, yeah, which did. turned out to be much higher than it had appeared from a distance. Well, that's how mines usually are. An intervening valley setting it out in sharper relief from the general surface. Oh, this is dope as fuck. Make more games like ascend, this. I slept in the shadow of the hill. Make more games. Like, if you make a Cthulhu game like this, or like a bunch of fucking like vampire, or like some shit like that, I would fucking love. This is the type of games I like. I know not why my dreams this is were dope. so wild that night. Man, what type of wild dream do you have? A and fantastically gibbous moon had risen far above the eastern plain. Hey, my boy, you're literally living in a hellish nightmare. You can't have any more dreams there. I was awake in a cold perspiration, determined to sleep no more. Hey, yo, look at how beautiful. At least you got a nice view of the of this guy. You know what I mean? Like Such in New York, you don't get this. You don't get this. too much for me to endure again. Because the light pollution. You know what I mean? You don't get this type of stuff. Which, which sucks. And in the glow of the moon, I saw how unwise I had been to travel by day. Me, why? Without the glare of the parching sun, my journey would have cost me less energy. Indeed, I now felt quite able to perform the ascent which had deterred me at sunset. Yeah, but shit is scarier at night. Picking up my pack, I started for the crest of the eminence. Shit is scarier at night. I'm sorry. Shit is scarier at night. You wouldn't catch me walking through a fucking desert or hellish that the desert. The unbroken monotony of the rolling plain was a source of vague horror to me. But I think my horror was greater when I gained the summit of the mound and looked down the other side into an immeasurable pit or canyon. Yo, that's what they should do. Cause like this is basically like a short story. That's what they should do. They should make basically make like like if you want to get kids to really like learn shit, right? You should basically do that. Make a game and like make them like be into it and like wanna like learn. You know what I mean? That shit's fucking dope. Like imagine being all oh. black recesses the moon had not yet soared high enough to illumine. You are high as fuck. I my felt boy. myself on the edge of the world. Practically are. 
peering over the rim into oh, a fathomless no. chaos of eternal night. Oh, no, something's about to come up. No, something's about to come up. Through my terror ran curious reminiscences of Paradise Lost. Wait, is that a book? And of Satan's hideous climb through the unfashioned realms of darkness. There's light right there, though. Who's coming As up? As the moon climbed higher oh, in the, the sky, I began to see that the slopes of the valley were not quite so perpendicular as I had imagined. What does that mean, perpendicular? What does that mean? Alright, now for me to click. Oh, Ledges here. and outcroppings of rock afforded fairly easy footholds for a descent. First of all, he's got to be very upper Whilst body lifting. Like, like he got to be very feet, strong. The declivity I mean, became very gradual. To climb a whole fucking mountain? Like, that takes some... You know what I mean? That takes... That takes... That takes some... Some... Have upper body strength, lower body strength, a lot of endurance, a lot of strength. Oh. Urged on by an impulse which I cannot stop, stop, definitely stop. analyze, stop. I scrambled we? with difficulty down the rocks and stood on the gentler slope beneath. Ah, I hate I, the music is what gets me, man. The Gazing music is into what the gets Stygian me. Stygian deeps, where no light had yet penetrated. There's light right fucking there. Oh, there ain't no light. All down at here. once, my attention was captured by a vast and singular object on the opposite slope. That's the shit that was in Arizona. Right hundred yards ahead of me. That everybody was saying was like a simulation or the something, like an alien gleamed thing. Gleamed whitely in the newly bestowed rays of the ascending moon. Yeah, I get you. I don't get you really, but look at that moon, man. Look at how beautiful the sky looks. Man, if there's one thing I could do, I wanna, I wanna go into space. That's one thing I always wanted to do. Ever since I was there, I always wanted to go into space. But that shit is so dope. it was merely a gigantic piece of stone, I soon assured myself. Yeah, well, it was a stone perfectly cut out. I was conscious out, like... of a distinct impression that its contour and position were not altogether the work of nature. Yeah, good, good to think that. A closer scrutiny filled me with sensations I cannot express. I mean, you should probably go to sleep until, until, until morning. Not gonna lie, because this is as scary as fuck. Let the but heat... despite its enormous magnitude, and its position in an abyss uh, which had uh, yawned at uh, the bottom of the sea since the world was young. Yeah. I perceived beyond a doubt that the strange object monolith. was a well-shaped monolith. Mm -hmm. Got whose you. massive bulk had known the workmanship and Yo, perhaps this the shit worship is cold. of thinking creatures. Okay, 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 yeah, Dazed I got you. and frightened, yet not without a certain thrill really? of the scientists or archaeologists' delight, I examined my surroundings more closely. I got you. Oh, with your surroundings. Okay. Um. Are right, you just gonna walk towards that? Yo, you hear that shit? It's like walking through a sewer pipe. How the fuck is the there water? Now near the zenith, shone weirdly and vividly above the towering steeps that hemmed in the chasm. Ah, that's too close to the water. Look at there's fucking. And revealed the fact shit that there. a far-flung body of water flowed at the bottom winding out of sight in both directions and almost lapping my feet as i stood on the slope what i don't understand is how did he not hear the ocean and look at those little shits see like Across little the animals desert, the wavelets washed the base of the cyclopean monolith on whose surface i could now trace both inscriptions and crude sculptures not gonna lie i would have rather liked to stay with those like with the german the, the boat that captured us i would have wanted to stay with them because this shit is it's better to be with people than to be by yourself. I the just Oh, how the fuck you got up here? Unknown to me, and unlike anything I'd ever That's seen. Cthulhu. That's Cthulhu. Shark, hammerhead shark, a turtle, crab, jellyfish, seahorse, sea, uh, 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 starfish. Consisting for the most part of conventionalized aquatic. I thought this shit was about Cthulhu. Fishes, eels, octopi. Crustaceans, mollusks, whales, and the like. Why you gotta be such a fucking prick and say octopi? Just say octopus! Several characters obviously represented marine oh, things shit. which are unknown to the modern world. That's cold. But whose decomposing forms I had observed on the ocean risen plain. Yeah, that fucking thing that I was like, oh, that's it a kraken. Pictorial carving, however, that did most to hold me spellbound. Oh, what shit are we talking about? All right. Hey, story time. Okay. They can get into many things. Oh, you fucking. Okay. Tell the story through carvings at the mountain of the journals and chapter notes to shadow the. Ah, oh, this is like giving me a fucking thing. All right. Yeah. Plainly visible across the intervening water on account of their enormous size were an array of bas reliefs whose subjects would have excited the envy of a Doré. 
What's a, what the fuck is a door I think that these things were supposed to depict men. At least, a certain sort of men. Though the creatures were shown disporting like fishes in the waters of some marine grotto. I got you! homage at some monolithic shrine, which appeared to be under the waves as well. Of I got their faces you. and forms I dare not speak in detail. For the mere remembrance makes me grow faint. Wait, I want to see what they look like. Grotesque beyond the imagination of a Oh hell no, get that shit off my screen. That mother Oh, them motherfuckers are they ugly. Were damnably human in general outline, despite webbed hands and feet, shockingly wide and flabby lips. That's fucked up. Glassy, bulging eyes, and other features less pleasant to recall. Big ass head. Curiously enough. They seem to have been chiseled badly out of proportion with their scenic background. For one of the creatures was shown in the act of killing a whale, represented as but little larger than himself. I don't think that's out of proportion, my boy. I remarked, as I say, their grotesqueness and strange size. I don't think that's out of proportion. Moment, decided that they were merely the imaginary gods of some primitive fishing or seafaring tribe. Yeah, that's just Some scary. Some tribe whose last descendant had perished eras before the first ancestor of the Piltdown or Neanderthal man was born. Eras! You gotta be such a prick. All right, yeah, now let's get the fuck out of this water. Awestruck at this unexpected glimpse into a past beyond the conception of the most daring anthropologist. I stood musing whilst the moon cast queer reflections on the silent channel before me. Then suddenly stop, I stop, saw stop, it. Stop, 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 stop. What? What do you see? With only a slight churning to mark its rise to the surface, the thing slid into view above the dark waters. Get the fuck away from me! First, a famous <laughs> loathsome. It darted like a stupendous monster of nightmares to the marlin. Oh my god, I'm actually terrified right now. About which it flung its gigantic scaly arms, while it bowed its hideous head and gave vent to certain measured sounds. Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> now you want to go to sleep! Now you want to go to sleep! I went mad then. You want to go to sleep and... Oh, hell no, bro. We're going to wake up of with my that... frantic ascent of the slope and cliff and of my delirious journey back to the stranded boat, I remember little. You did not go back to the boat. What's going on? What's going on, my boy? Why are you going back? Just wait for him to go. That's the easiest try. I believe I sang a great deal and laughed oddly when I was unable to sing. Yeah, well, I mean, my boy, that's a big ass fucking. Look at that fucking claw! I have indistinct recollections of a great storm sometime after I reached the boat. At any rate, that's I that I heard bells of thunder and other tones which nature utters only in her wildest moods. That is crazy. That now you want to go mad? After going for three days, I would have been like, nah, bro. When break. I came oh. out of the shadows, I was in the San Francisco hospital. What? Brought thither by the captain of the American ship which had picked up my boat in mid-ocean. In my delirium, I had said much, but found that my words had been given scant attention. Of any land upheaval in the Pacific, my rescuers knew nothing, nor did I deem it necessary to insist upon a thing which I knew they could not believe. Are you telling me that, that you were actually fucking going mad and you were fucking crazy as fuck? <clears throat> Oh my god. Uh, Lovecraft was a prominent figure in the world of amateur journalism. In 1915, he started publishing his own journal called The Answer, which included political and social commentary, poetry, short stories, and literary criticism written by him and other authors. Howard was a skilled wordsman, but he also took criticism to heart, which resulted in the decision to step away from the writing poetry and country on weird fiction again for the first time since his teenage years. Dagon, published in 1919, is one of the short stories written during that period. And the example excerpt from the concept the master of horror fiction explains his attitude towards warfare and the idea of world peace oh yeah get out of here i ain't trying to read all that i read enough how the fuck you open the door from here 
Once I sought out a celebrated ethnologist and amused him with peculiar questions regarding the ancient Philistine legend of Dagon, the fish god. Oh, so actually, oh, so you actually just said saw the Dagon, my boy. Oh, so we're good now. We we don't have to be scared. We're indoors. What's that? Dagon was the main de 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 deity of the Philistines worshipped throughout the Middle East as the ancient god of fertility and crops and huge. Okay, yeah. The ruler of uh, was chosen to patron saint of their war conquest. He also appeared as the judge of the dead in an Isaiah poem and an underworld prison warder in one of the Babylon texts. He was often mistakenly taken for the fish god due to the wrong interpretation of his name as in hebrew the world dag means fish in hp lovecraft's work dagon is the underwater deity ruling over the deep ones a human race with fish traits that reside in the ocean he is worshipped by a secret cult called the esteroic order of dagon yo i read that shit good yo i read that shit good i read that pretty good what do i do now oh I read that really good. I read that very well. I, I would say. I would say. But it. soon perceiving that he was hopelessly conventional, I did not press my inquiries. Clearly. Now, what you want me to do? Why are you just walking around your fucking office? Oh shit. That's kind of scary. Just walking around your fucking office, touching shit. Just go immediately to the place where you want to go. Oh. It is at night, especially when the moon is gibbous and waning. And that's why I'm on my shit. Thing. Oh. I tried morphine, but the drug has given only transient surcease and has drawn me into its clutches as a hopeless slave. They so had morphine now, back then? I am to end it all, having written a full account for the information or the contemptuous amusement of my fellow men. Imagine if H.P. Lovecraft actually saw this shit. That would have been dope. Lovecraft hated tobacco even though he used the smoke when he was 12. 12! In order to look and feel like an adult. In his conversation with friends, Reinhardt Glenn, I, I quit that he quit smoking as soon as he started wearing long pants. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Hey, I started wearing Often, long pants. I don't smoke I anymore. I ask myself if it could not all have been a pure phantasm. It could have been. It could have been. It definitely could have been. And you... A mere freak of oh, fever. Oh, fuck no. As I lay sun-stricken and raving in the open boat. It definitely could have been. After my escape from the German man of war. Definitely could have been. This I ask myself. But ever does there come before me a hideously vivid vision in reply. No, no, no. He's going to show a picture. I cannot think of the deep sea without shuddering. At the nameless things that may at this very moment be crawling and floundering on its slimy bed. Worshipping their ancient stone idols and carving their own detestable likenesses on submarine obelisks of water-soaked granite. I dream of a day when they may rise above the billows to drag down into their reeking talons the remnants of puny, war-exhausted mankind. Why would you want to- what? Why do you dream of that day? day when the land shall sink and the dark ocean shall ascend amidst universal pandemonium. Look at you want this to happen? Hey, yo, if this shit happens, that's scary as fuck. Hey, yo, so that's a lot. You got like a whole army and shit. You guys got your own like little strategic little shit. That's cool. The end is near. Oh, oh, fuck no. Oh no, it's that morphine. It's that morphine. It's that morphine. I hear a noise at the door, as of some immense slippery body lumbering against it. Bro, it's that morphine. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's really just that morphine. Don't go to that door, though. It shall not find me. Bro, then go to sleep. Hide underneath the bed. That's what I would do. That's. Ah, oh, bro. Fuck that. Fuck that. What do I. Do I click something? Stop, 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 stop. God, that hand. That's just smaller than I thought. The window, the window. Ah! What the fuck? Hey, yo. Hey, yo, I fuck, I love these type of games. That shit was dope. 
Uh, if you like the video and you stick all the way through, comment. Comment something. It really helps the algorithm, friends. So we're all trying to hit 300. Uh, I love you guys. You guys have made it. Uh, if I don't post before the end of the year, which I probably will, but if I don't, I want to say uh, thank you. This year has been one of the best years, at least for me, on YouTube because we, we really grew. Um, I just want to say thank you so much. You guys really made... You really, you really make me happy. Um, I really just don't know how to appreciate you and like just thank you so much for for even like taking the time out of the day to subscribe like that. I understand that could be a lot too, and I'm not even trying to joke around or trying to make it seem like it really isn't that. It really is big to subscribe to someone because you want to watch more of their content, and it's because they're making good content. And to know that you guys enjoy my content, it just it ma it makes me really happy to to know that you guys enjoy it and like. You guys can laugh or like experience the things with me. You understand what I'm trying to say? Because that, that's all I want to do. I just want to make, if I can make one of you guys laugh one time a day or something like that, that's all that, that really matters. You know what I mean? It, it just makes me so happy to see that. Um, so I want to thank you guys uh, and say I love you guys. Yeah. Got a little sappy there. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time I post. Peace, broskies.